Hello, or Bava, or Bota, or Baby Negekai. Men all of you, why no Saduk Ezeka, never Nibunwe, ye Doctor Okuname. Uh, today I want to continue from where we stopped the last time. First, I want to say a big thank you to a lot of you who are commenting, who are calling, who are writing, asking different questions and everything. I want to thank everybody. Yes, thank you all. Uh, the questions you seek, the answers, the answers will locate you. So you just have to be more patient. Be patient with me and be patient with yourself also. The answers are all in their ways and they are coming. They are coming from different directions to you. But today I want to continue from where we stop. For those of you who is following already, this is food for the soul, relations of the soul. And today we are in series three. <laughs> Series 3, like I said, uh, I, I decided to split it into different series so that it will not be too overwhelming. First for me, of course, and second for you also that is uh, listening to me. So that is why I decide to... That is why I decide to break it down into different, different series. And I cannot tell you how long it will take because the higher we climb, the more deeper we go. And uh, where we are today is where we stopped the last time. The last time for those who follow up with the teachings, the last time we arrive at a point that now you are outside your body. Now you meet the people who welcome you. And I also point it out that most of the cases, it's not just the, the, your soul family who welcome you, it's, there's also something else. But that will come to later. I just want to coordinate the teaching so that uh, people are not confused and don't know where they are inside the teaching. So that's why we got to sail around nicely, peacefully, with love and harmony. Yes. <laughs> so, you know now that you have a, a soul family, which is different from your soul tribe. Mm. And you know now that you people in your soul family are reincarnated one after the other and in some cases in some cases let me just conclude that area first in some cases in some <laughs> in some cases the people reincarnating now was the people doing the watchman i like to call them the watchman let me explain it again. You are here now, alive now, what you call life. You are here now. So your soul family who is watching after you now, or let me use the common word many of you understand, ancestors, who is watching you now, when they were here, in majority of cases, when they were here, you were the one watching after them so it's like a, it's like a responsibility for who is up there to watch who is down here and when they are done here you are back up there so you have to also watch them so that's why uh, the connection between yourself and them is very very important the connection between yourself and them is very, very, very important. Because why? When you disconnect yourself from your ancestors, or let me rather say your soul tribe, because ancestors, 
I don't really like English so much anymore because English stops you. English limits you, your expression. So you want to say something and English will just limit you. You cannot really express it the way you want to. So since I start studying German and uh, of course Italy, I know Italy a lot, perfectly. And uh, these are languages I love so much. Even Bini. Bini, you can't just compare Bini with... Uh, you can't just compare Edo language with Italian and German. Edo language is ancient language. No language you can compare with Edo language. <laughs> and that's not just because I'm a Edo man. No. That's just the fact. But what I'm trying to say is ancestors is, is not really uh, the best the best way for me to explain it ancestors is not really uh, does not makes me feel satisfied ah ancestors no because when you talk about ancestors ancestors connect deeper into so family so tribe and many 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 more is still going yes so that's why let's just use so family yes yeah, so that we are we are tracking what we are doing yeah so the the the, the beautiful thing is it's very important to connect with your soul family when you have a connection with your soul family as you are right now here on earth you have a good connection with your soul family that will help you develop a lot faster spiritually and physically mm. i will repeat it again your connection with your soul family helps you develop spiritually faster helps you grow spiritually faster helps your soul mature more spiritually because it is a balance Mm, it is a balance the same way you are doing your activities here which people call it is the same way they are doing their own activities in the other realm spirit world Amy wherever you understand it to be that's how they are also doing their own responsibility but there, when there is no balance when there is no balance between you and then between what's going on here and what's going on there then there is a chaos then there is a chaos so you know your soul family the question is how do you know your soul family because you come out now from your body you see this group of people how do you know them that these are my soul family even before the point that you can separate your soul Oh, that is nice. A fish was jumping out from the water. Even before, even before you separate your body from your, uh, your, even before you separate your soul from your body, even before you separate your soul from your body, how do you know that these your soul family are always around you? How do you know how to pay deep uh, attention to them? How do you connect with them? Because trust me, if your connection, your intimacy is not strong with them, even if you pop out from your body, you will just start the new chaos. Yes, that's why it's very important to have a, a, a concrete spiritual construct. I always repeat it. It's very good to have a concrete spiritual construct. So even if you are a Christian, you are a Muslim, you are Ifa, you are whatever spiritual belief you have. I don't like calling religion spiritual because religion is very different from spirituality. Religion, religion has no connection with spirituality. Religion is just a psychological game, playing with people's mind. And so, I'm sorry to include uh, uh, those Muslim and Christian in spiritualism. They are not related to spiritualism at all. But what I'm trying to say is, when you don't have a construct spiritual background, even when you pop out from your body, you will feel lost. Yes. 
you will feel lost. First, let me repeat myself again. These teachings, this, this topic, these things I'm talking about, I am not talking to everybody. And I don't expect everybody to make sense out of what I am saying. Yes. So you don't have to even listen. <laughs> you don't have to even listen. Because this is a food for soul and it's not a food for everybody. It's only a food for soul who is suffering from starvation of the soul. Who is fed up of all this miseducation. Who is tired of all these lies and bombardment of different force and, and different uh, kind of different, 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 different things. Yeah, this is for special souls. Who want to find their way back home? Yes, this is, these are the type of people I am speaking with. Today I will not be so fast and, and cutting the video so short. So today I said to myself, because somebody told me, please be talking more, be talking more, I like to hear more. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's not about talking for hours. It's the power in the message that you're giving that's what really matters so like i was saying when you have no concrete spiritual constructs and you pull out of your body then <laughs> it's not so nice it's not so nice because you will just feel like a child who wake up in the middle of the desert and don't even know where to go. So that is why building intimacy with your soul family is very special. It's very important. It's very special, very important. But there's also something very, very special and very, very important to really point out here. Because why? If when you break out from the body, let's say all is in order, you break out from the body and you meet your soul family, which means they have always been existing, which means the body you have been carrying along everywhere you go, it's not just you. I will repeat it again. The body you have been carrying along everywhere you go is not just all that has to do with you. There is something also detachable that is attached to the body, just like right now. Mm. And this thing now has been separated from the body. Okay, now we'll push the body aside. Okay, let's take this thing back inside the body. Let's take this body back to the normal life before it wake up, before, <laughs> before it pulls out from the body. Let's rewind the, the tape back. As a normal woman or a normal man or a normal boy, a normal girl, living your day-to-day -day life, now that you are aware that you are not just alone, you have a soul family, how do you start connecting yourself with this soul family? Because this is like investment. You have to reap what you invest. Yeah, we know they always love you even if you are ignorant of yourself. But that does not simply mean that you will just also say, I don't care, whenever it happens, we'll meet again. No, 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 no. Arrogant, arrogancy is not welcome here. Yes, you have to be loyal <laughs> and humble. That's even the nature of God. Yeah, <laughs> so... How do you connect with them? How do you stay aware of your soul family? How? How is it possible? That's where the discussion of consciousness comes in. Because you know what? Being conscious of your now, 
being conscious of your moment gives you the higher vibration you need to be able to connect not just with your soul family but with energies and everything around you then you start feeling this oneness this oneness that is coming from inside of you because many of you your soul family is talking to you every day your soul family is contacting you every day they are speaking to you every day through dreams through vision through different different ways but you are, your mind is so busy and fucked up that you don't even get what they are saying they know you are not being stubborn you are just ignorant that's all so that's why they are always patient with you but what i want to teach you now is how to be aware of yourself which enables you now to be able to connect with this your soul family mm. now i'll repeat it again what i will be teaching you today is how to be fully aware of yourself which enables you now to be able to connect to your soul family this is a very simple steps that not everybody are aware of it some people are aware of it but they are still fighting themselves over it because it's all about mastering the process because knowing is the first and easy step the mastering mm, mastering what <laughs> you know is the most complicated part in studies in everything so this is how you start now being aware of your soul tribe first you have to know that the concept of reality that you are being taught at school is nothing but a lie yes know this i'll repeat it again so you hear it again the concept of reality that you are being taught all your life is a lie very big <laughs> very big lie so if you are stuck in that lie then your mind becomes programmed to matters become programmed to materials become programmed to solid and steel then you look then you disconnect yourself from mm, Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. I just have to calm the energy down because it's just it's just too much. But what I'm trying to tell you is that when you trap yourself already in this false reality that has been introduced to you, then it makes it so difficult for you to connect to the other realm which is not separated from this realm it is one body together the other realm spirit world or however you call it is not separated from what you call reality or life it's the same big body together it just depends on your state of consciousness so that's what reveal and interpret what you know as reality to you okay let's say you are taking a walk on a bush or yeah, i say bush because i'm always in the bush let's say you are taking a walk on a bush or on a road or a city in the street or anywhere paying attention and being aware of dictates around you creates a space inside your soul to to smell and to feel energies around you i'll repeat it again 
being aware and paying attention to dictates which is another word we can use being we can call being conscious of your now helps you really pay attention to things that are going on around you so when you are being able to be aware of yourself as you move around as you breathe as you talk with the full awareness of your own self being conscious fully of your own self that helps you now to start connecting to the energies around you and during that process of connection with energies around you then you start not just feeling uh, yeah at the beginning is feeling later you will see of course but at the beginning is feeling then you start feeling it that when you are walking you are not alone when you are standing you are not alone when you are sitting you are not alone that's why you see our 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 traditions the the they create a way that you can always pay libation yeah it's called libation i think you can always pay libation like a homage to 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 your ancestors by simply putting the water to the ground it does not mean that the ancestors will come and lick the water you put on the ground it does not mean that drink they are pouring on the ground that your ancestors will come now and touch the drink and start licking it no 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 what they are trying to teach you is that the awareness of their existence is being expressed at that moment where they are putting that food on the ground that drink on the ground that water on the ground so that expression that awareness send the message far send the message far and then they receive it. <laughs> they receive it like, ah, oh, we say, we may, ah, oh, we say, no sakai, we say. You know, they receive it and it makes them so contented because automatically you are reminding them that, please take care of that side for me while I fix what I can fix over here. I'll repeat it. For you remembering your ancestors, remembering your soul tribe, it gives both sides a very full, powerful, uh, a very full, powerful awareness that you are ready to do what needs to be done here, and then they are always ready to do what needs to be done on the other side, which you are not seeing now. So, paying attention to your dictates helps you connect with them. For example, you can just be walking in the street. You don't need to be walking on the street and thinking, hum, 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 hum. then automatically you are like a dog who is following the smell. You are not a dog. You are a super conscious being. So you are far deep, your vibration is higher than that of which they call animals. So when you behave like animals, you are just cheating your own self. So why busy walking on the street and busy thinking about what you are going to do tomorrow? Don't get me wrong, it's good to think, it's good to plan, it's good to strategize. But you have to have a specific time for everything. Everything cannot be mixed together and put together. No, 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 no. Then you are not living. Then you are not alive. You are just a walking dead. So, when you are walking in the street, try to breathe. <laughs> it's simple, but yeah, it's so. Try to breathe, like... Breathe. Because when you breathe, your heart, which is Ogun, yeah, later, later we'll come to that where we start doing anatomy of your body. Your heart, which is Ogun, Ogun means iron. Iron trap energy. That's why the magnetic field of the heart is higher than that of the brain. So when you breathe, 
automatically what you are doing is grounding yourself being present being aware then you can hear like a strange noise from a strange bed you have not heard before sometimes you even look but you not see the bed there yes those are some little little signs of your soul tribes or your ancestors sometimes you can just hear like a strange noise somewhere you will just the thing will take your attention but you will not see anything your attention was not dropped out of fear but out of curiosity like but you will not see anything so uh, especially at night you will just feel like ah somebody is standing there but you will later look well you will not see anything then you can just sit in your house and uh, in numbers yeah numbers uh you can they, some people call it angelical numbers all these are signs all these are signs the most common ones are dreams the most common ones and the most easy one for people are dreams but the most frustrating part is many of you are so fucked up with religion that to the point that even when your ancestors visit you in your dream you start frightening you start scared you start even like jesus holy ghost fire 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 <laughs> because why your mind has been programmed that winch will come and press you your mind has been programmed that everything is demon 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 spiritualism is demonic so the only thing you think is normal now is when you will see a big white man with white beards with white feather then you will say ah oh, my angel <laughs> that might be to have a little bit crazy then you can say ah oh, my angel my angel no angel will visit you and don't look like you anybody who, who says the angel the angel don't look like them just know that it is the picture they have downloaded in their mind that is playing for them people are underestimating the power of the mind in a very separate topic i will be speaking about the power of the mind and how your mind can be your own illusionist yes so you have to be very careful of things that you download in your own mind because your own mind is your best friend and is your greatest enemy so you have to have a very sensitive sensitive relationship with your mind but like i was saying before pay more attention to your dictates help you really really have a deeper understanding help you really really have a full awareness of your now and when you are present in your now mm, when you are present in your now then you can be able to observe feel in most cases sit the real things around of you let me make an example for you if you are watching a brand new movie let's say the, mo the movie just came from cinema and you are watching the movie with your friends and the same time you guys are discussing ah this movie is a nice movie oh, ah the same time you are discussing maybe uh drinking eating or doing whatever you're doing together after you finish that movie try to watch that movie again you will later notice that some certain details in that movie which you have previously sat down and watched some 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 some, some details in that movie was not re revealed to you at all because why at the moment you were watching the movie you were not fully present while watching the movie so you might be looking but for your mouth to move at all and be talking alone <laughs> i laugh now because i remember somebody when you watch movie with them 
you just have to shut up and not even blink your eyes <laughs> those are real movie freaks <laughs> yeah but what i'm trying to say is that for your mouth to be moving alone that alone distracts your focus already just like uh, for example chewing gum you cannot chewing gum and read and expect to fully understand what you are reading because for your wow i don't know if you guys saw it what's the fish? i like this lake it's so still and so beautiful then it becomes like a mirror and uh, normally lakes like this are common in Norway but Germany especially in this Hessen area they also have some few lakes like this but let me just continue with what I'm saying so why you chewing your gum why you chewing your gum for you to move your mouth a little already it keeps your brain busy so your brain cannot be 100 percent focused concentrate on what she's doing so the, the the movement of your teeth your gum which you are chewing already create a distraction these are just like a little example so whatever you are doing try to be present even if somebody runs to you and and the person wants to fight you or make problem with you or shout on you try to maintain stillness within yourself try to view the person as if you are standing on a mountain top try to see deeper beyond what the person is projecting try to look deeper try to see his pains try to see deep into this person and then automatically you will have a far better way to resolve the situation no matter how the person came to you because why he come with chaos you can't approach chaos with chaos that's disaster so you have to approach in a very different approach that will change the atmosphere that we uh, change the energy the person is carrying it's more like a psychological thing but when you connect it with uh, spirituality it becomes a little bit deeper but your psyche helps you shape your spirituality that's very important uh, <coughs> to also know so paying more details to your attention be more aware of your presence be more mm, bring it down your energy settling them down paying attention to details you see a tree try to admire look at the tree if you want to touch make sure you feel it make sure you feel it if just pee yeah it's ordinary pee pee but make sure you feel those urine coming out from your body and let it be a releasing of stress a releasing of toxic a releasing of bondage you know let it be applied into everything you do so the more it becomes your habit to be aware of yourself, the more it's easier for you to connect with your soul tribe. Because they are talking to you every single day. Every single day. They are talking to you, even while you are not sleeping. They are talking to you, showing you signs, showing you things, showing you things, relating with you, discussing with you. But the question is, how much attention are you paying them? How much awareness do you have? Some of you are also from the water, which uh, religious people have told you, you are possessed or blah, 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 whatever it is. But those your family and friends now always come to you, always share things with you, always be around you, always do things with you. To the point that when you become even unconscious of them, they will just ignore you and still be doing whatever they are doing with you, even while you are not conscious. 
Uh, remember, your soul can go and do things and come back to your body. So if you don't know or remember, that's your business. <laughs> that's your business. May God never let our soul make a journey that we are not aware of. It's, uh, so that's just it. Uh, this uh, season three is more focused on connecting yourself to the soul family. Because now you know that you have this soul family. But you also have an obligation to connect yourself to the soul family. Because it is your soul family that presents you to your soul tribe. Yeah, I have a lot of awoken friends who are so, so deep into this type of topic. So they might argue that you can skip all of that and just go, yes, for you. But there is a lot of people, a lot of people who have to really start from the basic source. A lot of people have to really start from the scratch. Yes, so I cannot advise somebody to start flying around the universe while you don't even have anything that keeps you grounded. Yeah, so we, I am not talking to everybody. I am only talking to the few people who can make sense out of what I am saying. Mm-hmm. That's why I am here. And for those of you who are always asking me questions, are you a native doctor? Are you this? <laughs> are you that? <laughs> I will reply to you today and let you know that I am your beloved brother sent to you to lead your way, to lead you to the way home. Sent to you to point the direction to you to come back home. Sent to you to remember you of your real home. Sent to you to educate you of your own self. Sent to you to clear the path for you. That's why Ogun is always with me. So I am not your native doctor. I am not your guru. I am your spiritual guide. Yes. I am your spiritual guide pointing the direction for you. It's time to activate your DNA. It's time to breed you, the, the craft in you outside. It's not time to say, eh, we're bo me, wanna me, wukuna me, wukuna me. No, 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 no. This is not that time. This is time to lecture our people about who they are. Very soon I will be talking really about what we should be really doing. Yes, and that will be a special message dedicated to all the traditional institutions, all the spiritual institutions in our land. But we will come to that. Let's keep on waking up these ones first. Or we will later come to that. So there is a lot of things. Mm. There is a lot of things we should be doing. There's a lot of things. But I also I'm also grateful for what is being done already. Because a lot of things is being done, even right as we are watching this video right now. A lot of things is being done to maintain peace and harmony. But there is more we can do. And it's our time we unite ourselves and bring this love this knowledge, everything together, so we can create a new earth. <laughs> yeah, so we can create a new earth. Yes. So that is the topic for today. Soul Relations, Season 3. How to connect with your soul family. Connecting with your soul family is all you need for now because connecting with them already is giving you first step ahead many people have lost and disconnect themselves for so long i don't blame everybody because i understand we all have a social background that have constructed our present state of mind and it's time to unlearn all those things we learned before and learn new things. Yes, because now we realize that we are really lied to. 
and we are really fooled. So it's time to recorrect all those mistakes and fix and do what is needed. So I thank you all, I thank you all, I thank you all for those that are commenting, for those that are liking, even for those that call me and say, uh, please, they speak English, they speak Bini or they speak PG, so that many people feel they understand you. Yeah, I will just be trying my best. The way it comes out is how I will bring it out. I cannot fight anything or challenge anything. The message is coming the way it comes. And it's a message that I am not the one saying it. I am only interpreting it. So you can imagine me as this big tour who just received the signal and bring it to you. That's how it is. So it's not me. It's not me. Somebody said to me, oh, you are too young for what you're saying. I'm like, okay, really? You think so? <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. But that's just how it is. So I thank you all for your love. I thank you all for your care. And please, I pray this sink deep into you. From today, try to pay attention to your details. Try to be aware of everything you do. When you shake people, feel their hands. When you look at people, gaze into their eyes. So you can see their real essence. Whatever you do, be present. When something admire you, stand. Put your time, feel it. Be aware of it. Be alive. It's called be alive. Yes, it's called being alive. That does not stop you from thinking, from planning, from strategizing. But that just means you are being aware of your moments and you are being grateful of your moments and you are connecting yourself not just to your soul tribe or your soul family, to the cosmos itself. Because it activates the cosmic energy inside of you. So I wish you all the best, I wish you all peace, I wish you all love from my deep heart, I wish you everything. Baba, I love you all, and we will hear us again for the next topic. Bye bye.